Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the third week of Pascha, Tuesday. Today's epistle reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 7 through 16. Brethren, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their lives and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is well that the heart be strengthened by grace, not by foods which have not benefited their adherents. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. From here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city which is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. And today's gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 19. The Lord said to his disciples, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light shine before men, so that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.